Welcome to Great Chefs, a culinary tour of the United States, featuring some of the country's finest chefs. Roxanne Skokos serves a hearty first course from Phoenix squid stew containing leeks, tomatoes, and clam broth. It's served with the small rice-shaped pasta, orzo. Then the entree is served by Hans Hickel in Tampa, Florida. It features, among other things, Chilean sea bass served with a colorful Caribbean fruit chutney. Then Thomas Furlish offers his version of strudel in New York. Its outside is unusual, using phyllo dough but the inside features the traditional farmer's cheese filling. Veteran chef Hans Hickel was born in Vienna, Austria. He apprenticed at the Saka Hotel and Hotel Europa, both in Vienna. Then he worked in England's Channel Islands, London, France, and throughout the Caribbean. At taping time, he was at Oyster Catchers in Tampa. His entree is sea bass and chutney. Oh no. Now we're going to do the chilling sea bass with the Caribbean fruit chutney. It's rather simple. What I'm doing now, I'm, what I did earlier, I did uh, segment uh, grapefruit, two oranges, two limes, some mango, and I have some mango and some red papaya. What I'm doing with the membrane, I just cut them into smaller units. and the mangoes. And the papaya. What I'm doing now, I put all this segments in, into a little colander. And extract a little bit of juice. So that it does not dilute my uh, soap-like mixture. Okay, let me just add the mangoes. It's a real pretty colorful mixture. Just mix the juices with a little bit more lemon juice. Bring up roughly about four ounces of liquid. Now I combine the juice. It was rendered from the fruit, partially from the fruit. Four ounces of sugar. And I bring it in, put it in the fire, bring it in the boil, and then just turn it down to simmer. Fresh ginger was added, and the liquid is reduced to a syrup. I mean, about added. Sorry, I'm saying. Some cardamom seeds. So it's quite syrupy, you know. And what I do now is I add the food. Isn't it pretty? Real colorful. And while this cools down somewhat, we're going to start working on the fish. Okay. Okay. What we have here, this is a Chilean sea bass. You can any use any sea bass, Thai bass, for the same dish. You can use something with any meat, with any fish adding, I mean. The fresh black pepper. A 
little bit of sea salt. Still alive. And you take a little bit of soft butter. And you rub it on the outside of the fish. Meanwhile, I'm heating up a non skit a non-stick skillet. That's the best thing to use for this. Get the skillet real hot. Put in a hot skillet. See it on both sides for about a minute, minute and a half. Turn the fish. Depending on the size of the fish, you know, this one is a little bit thicker, it's about an inch, inch and a quarter. You want to put it in another pan and finish it in the oven while you're working on the sauce. At 350 for five to eight minutes. Half a cup of Cabernet Sauvignon. And I'm deglazing the pan. Reduce the wine a little bit. And then we add about a cup, half a cup of veal stock, round veal stock. Add a touch of pepper. I will simmer this a little bit down. Vegetable garnish includes fingerling potatoes, which were halved. And we add the pearl onions and the baby leeks. They were all steamed and are just being warmed through in butter. A little bit of fresh pepper. And just a third tap of sea salt. Deep fried zucchini chips also garnish. We put a nice bonus chutney. Of course, this sea bass, or chili bass in that, in that case. And Spoon a little bit of this wheel and red wine. We got a red wine glaze. Our little fingerling potatoes go. We place this leeks in no, no particular way. Toss the onions in no particular way as well. A slice of star food and some of the zucchini fritters. Thank you.